Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this project video we are going to look at how to make a quick and easy alarm clock based on a Raspberry Pi Pico. The clock displays the time and date on a popular 16x2 character LCD and has an easy interface to set up the alarm. The first button allows you to set the alarm where the two buttons next to it add or subtract one hour or minute and the last button confirms the alarm time. For example, it is currently 7.30pm and we will set the alarm for 7.31pm. When we press the set alarm button, the screen prompts the user to set the hour between 0 and 23. After confirming the hour, we can then select the minute. The alarm sound comes from the buzzer that is inside the enclosure. Once the time is equal to the set time, the buzzer will start beeping and wake up will appear on the screen. You can also change this to say anything else. The confirm button then needs to be pressed again to stop the buzzer and display the time and date again. For the final touch, I decided to add some addressable RGB below to give this cool ambient light. This alarm clock is a great project to start out with the Raspberry Pi Pico as this will teach you all the fundamentals of MicroPython and also how to set up different components. Let's take a look together at how to build this clock. To build this Pico alarm clock you will need the following components. A Raspberry Pi Pico with header pins, the DS1302 real-time clock module, 16x2 character LCD with I2C module, two strips of five addressable RGB LEDs, we will be using the WS2812B. Four push buttons, a buzzer module, a half size breadboard, but you will need to remove one of the voltage rails on the side to make the breadboard fit. And then a bunch of male to female and male to male jumper cables, and wire to connect our LEDs to the Pico, a DC input jack, and then finally a custom case we will use which we will construct using 10mm length M3 nuts and bolts. I did a video on the DS1302 real time clock module and the 16x2 LCD with I2C on the channel before. And then a subscriber asked if it is possible to build a clock using these two components. I then noted down ideas before making this prototype on the breadboard. I made two schematic diagrams to show all the necessary connections. The first diagram is the fritzing diagram showing all the connections with the tables indicating the physical pin connections. The second schematic is a more simplified version made an easy EDA. After making the required connections, we can first program the Pico before we put it inside a case. I have included all the code in my GitHub repository with all the code explained in detail. And if you have any questions, you can reach me on Discord or in the comment section. But for all those coders interested, here is a short overview of the code. We start by uploading all the needed libraries, then we can set up our LCD, the DS1302 real-time clock module, and the buzzer, the four push buttons, and the NeoPixels or our addressable LEDs. The main function is set alarm, and how it works is when we press the set alarm button, it will display the hour to be set and then the minutes. The code is a bit long due to formatting the output on a display. We return the set hour and set minutes, which we will use in a check alarm function. The check alarm function, we will check when the set hour and set minutes are equal to the current time. The alarm will display wake up and the buzzer will sound every 0.2 seconds. Now we can create an endless loop that will display the current date and time, check if the set alarm button is pushed and check alarm to see if the alarm set time is equal to the present time. After writing all the code, I decided to make a simple case to house everything. I used this website maker case to construct a case, which is awesome since you can specify the dimensions and set everything along with the edge joints. After I inserted all the measurements and specifications, I exported the DXF file and import that file on Fusion 360. Now having most of the work done, I just needed to make all the necessary adjustments. Here is the first version and the cutout pieces which I decided to give a few layers of matte black spray paint. The plan is to shove everything inside the case. It is a bit janky but works for the first version. Once life is back to normal here, I can make a fancy PCB, so expect to see a version 2 someday. And here we have the clock, which is completed and ready to use. I had a lot of fun doing this project. The coding was a little bit difficult, but this is why the channel is made, is so that we can learn together. 
If there is any project that you will want to see in the future or you have any suggestions, let me know down in a comment section down below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.